Bachelorette, Jen Tran named the new leading lady for season 21, becomes first Asian American. Here's why shoppers love it. The physician assistant student competed for Joey Grazia Day's heart on season 28 of The Bachelor. Warning, this post contains spoilers from Monday's finale of The Bachelor. Despite her week 7 elimination, Jen Tran is getting a second chance at finding love as she begins her own journey to find love on season 21 of The Bachelorette. After fans discovered that Joey Grazia Day got engaged, Jesse Palmer recruited season 20 Bachelorette Charity Lawson to break the news on Monday's finale of The Bachelor. I can say that our next Bachelorette is someone who is intelligent. She's witty, she's fun, and she's super kind. And personally, I want to see a lot more of her and I can only hope that out of this experience that she's getting ready to embark on that she really does find true love, Charity gushed before announcing that Jen would be succeeding her as next season's leading lady. ABC The Bachelor Finale, full recap of Joey Grazia Day's Joyce and where Daisy Kent and Kelsey Anderson are now. After making her way on stage, Jen admitted she felt overwhelmed by the announcement and acknowledged she'd have big shoes to fill as she embarks on a new journey to find love. In terms of what she's looking for her forever partner, the physician assistant student revealed she's on the hunt for a guy with a big personality who's capable of cheeky banter and take it as much as they can dish it. When Jessie asked Jen about her hopes with becoming the next bachelorette, she admitted she wanted to walk away from her season with a ring on my finger. I hope I find my person someone that I truly feel like is 100% my perfect match and someone who I'm compatible with someone who he and I can have fun," she explained. Disney slash John Fleenor Joey Grazia Day gets engaged during the Bachelor finale, it's a feeling I've never had before. To the men who will be for her heart, she said, this experience is absolutely crazy and all I can hope is for them to really open up their heart to this because that's what I did and I got so much out of it. You know, it didn't end the way that I wanted to, but I grew and I learned so much from it. I really hope that they're ready to have some freaking fun. Jen also reacted to making Bachelor Nation history as the first Asian American Bachelorette. I feel so so grateful and so honored to be the first Asian Bachelorette in this franchise, she smiled, noting how she failed to see proper Asian representation growing up and felt boxed in because she never imagined she could be a leading lady. She continued, and now to be here today saying in this position being like I am going to lead my own love story, I am going to be the main character in my story dash like I just can't help but think of how many people I'm inspiring. Never miss a story sign up for free daily newsletter to stay up to from juicy celebrity news to compelling human interest stories. The Bachelorette is set to premiere later this year on ABC. Wednesday star Catherine Zeta-Jones and her husband Michael Douglas will be living separate lives for the next few months. OMG! My clothes couldn't come off fast enough. The real reason King Charles won't see Prince Harry during his trip to England has been revealed by sources. One of Chicago Fire's original cast members is officially done battling Blaze's full-time. Eamon Walker will exit the long-running drama as a series regular after playing Deputy District Chief Wallace Bowden for 12 seasons, our sister site reports. The actor will not be entirely missing from the show, as he is expected to. To some, arriving at an important event naked is the stuff of nightmares. For others, it's a meticulously planned reality. Is FBI's Maggie eager to get back in the field? Will uncancelled SWAT unexit some favorites? Might a ghost's romance be rekindled? Read on for answers to those questions and many more. You can and should email brand new QS2. Oops, I forgot to mark a milestone last time. This is the 351st inside line column. Dewan is expecting her third baby and her second with her fiancé Steve Casey. Seinfeld reruns bring him joy and he enjoyed Unfrosted and its mosaic of 1960s Mies Higgas, but Gene Seymour says he wonders why he's laughing at Jerry Seinfeld at all. The stars put their unique spin on the Garden of Time theme but some of these looks went to the weeds. Strictly Come Dancing host Tess Daly resembled a bronzed beach babe on Monday as she rocked a plethora of stunning bikinis. See photos. 
The Princess of Wales was pictured dancing with Prince Harry at Peter Phillip's wedding in 2008 wearing a daring sheer wedding guest dress from Issa, who created her engagement dress. The guitarist abruptly left Bon Jovi mid-tour in 2013. Stranger Things star Millie Bobby Brown wore the cutest mini dress in tribute to Jake, and it is bang on trend for the season. The actress had to sneak and eat a salad while her glam squad hurried to make sure she was dressed. Duchess Sophie of Edinburgh loud at a royal garden party at Buckingham Palace hosted by King Charles alongside Prince Edward, Princess Anne, and Queen Camilla. Deadpool and Wolverine director Sean Levy has addressed the return of a classic X-Men character in the film. Plus, see all the other details of her look that you missed on the red carpet, those shoes. I don't know if some of those people thought that what aired would air, the Bravo boss says the post Andy Cohen addresses Vanderpump Rules finale breaking fourth wall, everybody is a little bit right appeared first on the rap. Are you the nice big brother? Hilton asked her 16-month-old son as he rocked London, five months, in her bouncer.